Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaqeem. And God just put this word on my spirit to let y'all know to resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Amen. Glory be to God. And we're going to hop straight into it. James 4 and 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. See, a lot of people, they only remember half the verse. No, resist the devil and he will flee from you. But they miss the submit yourselves, therefore, to God. For God is our protector. God is our healer. God is our restorer. God is our deliverer. And I'm living proof in Jesus' name. God can set you free from any sin, any stronghold, anything that you think is holding you back. God can set you free. For with God, all things are possible. But with man, it shall be impossible. And you got to believe it. You got to believe it, man. Hey, I believe. Hey, but do you believe? God can break doors. God can move mountains. Woo! In Jesus' name, the Holy Spirit on fire. For God is a consuming fire. That's Hebrews 12 and 29. Amen. Our God's consuming fire. Man, the devil, bro, we ain't worried about the devil or his minions. Resist the devil, he will flee from you. Resist that urge. Resist those temptations. Starve your flesh. To strengthen your spirit. Because you got to understand, the flesh and the spirit are contrary one to another. You can't expect to be living in the flesh and get blessed in the spirit. You can't expect to hear God if you always in your flesh. And this is something I had to correct myself with. Overindulging and foods and in the world content. You gotta know when you gotta pull yourself back. Cause I just feel it in the spirit that y'all saying enough is enough. I'm tired of feeding my flesh. It's time to live in the spirit, to walk in the spirit. For if we live in the spirit, we shall also walk in the spirit. Amen. That's in Galatians. But first you got to submit yourselves therefore to God and just come in humility and say, God, I need your help. Help me overcome this lust addiction. Help me overcome gluttony. Help me overcome pride. You overcome these things by being in the presence of the Lord. Sometimes you got to go dark. Get off the phone. Cut out the noise. Really sit there in silence with yourself. Take a deep breath. And just be grateful. Be grateful. Because it can always be worse, man. I know some of y'all are in very stressful times right now. I promise you, God can make a way. God can make a way. But you got to be ready to be used. See, God is not a God that's going to force you to do anything. God is not forced at all. You got to make yourself available. And I'm reading Isaiah right now. And this verse just spoke to me. I'm going to read it to y'all. It's in Isaiah 6 and 8. And it says... Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. And this Isaiah talking, this is the Lord speaking. He said, who shall I send and who will go for us? And Isaiah saying, here I am, send me, send me, Lord. Send me, Lord. I'm going, I'm stepping. I'm stepping for you. He said, who going to step for me? Who can I send? Who will make themselves available? See, you got to be available to the Lord so he can use you. You know, if you want the blessings, if you are a so-called follower of Christ, amen. For, hey, with God, all things are possible, man. Resist the devil, he will flee from you. Right. And I'm going to read James chapter 1, verse 12 and 13. And it says, 
Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Amen. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. Amen. So when you love God, you won't endure those temptations. You won't endure the hardships, the suffering. For you know God is going to be with you through it all. And he's going to bless you on the other side. Mm -mm -mm. See, when you're just blinded by the fear, the worry, the distractions, when you always... Trying to satisfy your flesh You can't see God You busy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday You giving God just Sunday When that's not even the Sabbath day To spend time with the Lord You wonder why things are not Manifesting in your life You gotta make yourself available Give God your time, your energy, your resources, and he will pay you back in plentiful. He will give you what you need, what you need. Because that's what you really need, not what you want. So I just pray today, whoever watching this video, you can make the choice to really submit yourselves, therefore, to God. And the devil will flee. I promise you. He will flee. Focus on Jesus. Just keep your eyes on Jesus, man. These devils, they gonna flee, man. They gonna flee. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name. God bless you.